right, third graders, today we are going to be doing some printmaking, some stamping with some kind of different materials that you could find at your house. So at the drive-thru, what you're going to need to grab is a messy mat, a black paper, and a CD. This is going to be what we're using for our stamp today. You're also going to need to have somebody grab a makeup sponge, a Q-tip, and a marker cap. Someone else from your table is going to need to grab a light green paint, a light red paint, and a dark red and brushes for each. I also grabbed a cup of water just in case I needed to wash a brush out and a washcloth in case I needed to wipe my hands. Now on the back of your black paper, the first thing you need to do is write your name. Mrs. C and my class code. Flip it over and this is where your stamping is going to happen. So the first thing we're going to start stamping is our flowers. And that's what our CD is for. Now, as I paint today, I'm going to have to work really quick. Otherwise, the paint will dry on the CD. I'm going to be stamping the CD kind of around my paper spread out. So I'm going to start with our dark red paint first. I like to work dark to light. And I'm going to have the dark red kind of go around the edge of my flower. You could use the dark red paint on your flower any way you would like, but remember, we're trying to make a flower. And then I'm going to use the light red paint kind of in the middle. Notice I'm working pretty quickly because I don't want my paint to dry. Should my flower be green? Not today. I'm going to save the green for my leaves. Now carefully picking up the CD so that my fingers don't smear any of that flower. If I would like, I could use a Q-tip to draw some lines. I'll leave that up to you. Or you could skip it. And I'm ready to stamp. So I'm going to press my CD down on my paper. Count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm trying really hard not to let my CD twist or move. I'm just pressing straight down. Carefully lift up my CD and I have my print. If I would like, I could try something called a ghost print. A ghost print is where you print again with the same stamp and the same paint. So it'll be kind of like an exact copy, but just a little bit lighter. You could try a ghost print if you would like. Now on this print, do you see how my CD is kind of hanging off the edge? When part of the shape is cropped off, that's kind of interesting for the viewer to see. They have to imagine what the rest of that flower is going to look like. Now my stamp is going to need a little bit more paint so I can print again. Two flowers doesn't really fill up my paper very well. So I'm going to paint with the red, dark red first, around the edge, light red next, in the middle, working fast so that my paint doesn't dry. If I would like to do any lines, I could. And I'm ready to stamp. Pick it up careful, not to touch any of the middle. Press and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift it up. Ooh, that one turned out cool. Maybe one ghost print over here. As I'm picking up the CD, I get a little bit of paint on my fingers. And that's what this washcloth could be for, is just to kind of wipe it off so I don't have any fingerprints on my paper. Do your best. Awesome. All right, so I think that's all of the big flowers that I can fit. But I've got a few more stamps that I want to show you. The first one is the leaf. So for our leaves, we're using these makeup sponges. You could use your brush or just dip a little bit of green paint on that makeup sponge and do some leaf stamps. Notice that my leaves aren't all on top of each other. I'm kind of spreading them out to fill in any kind of blank space where my flowers maybe make it feel a little empty. If all my stamps are on top of each other, that won't be very interesting for my viewer to look at. They'll just see a pile of paint and not all these cool shapes. All right, I think that looks cool. The last tool that we could use to stamp with is a marker cap and these will make kind of like little blossoms. 
So I'm gonna just dip the marker cap in that pink paint and stamp some little blossoms, maybe in the middle where there's some empty spots. Not on top of anything else, just kind of filling up the in-between areas. All right, I think this looks good. When my picture is filled up with at least one, two, three, four big flowers, a few little leaves, a few little petals or blossoms, I'm ready to carry this to the drying rack. My CD will need to get washed out in the sink along with my marker cap and my makeup sponge, brushes as well. I can't wait to see how these flower stamps turn out. They're great.